Historically, the purchasing of our raw materials is all part of the planning process. Each supplier will have a different lead time for their materials, and we will work hard to have all the materials needed in the shoe production arriving around the same time. We do stock some of the basic materials needed, such as eyelets, thread, outsoles, midsoles, and linings, with the major component being the leather, which is normally purchased to arrive just before the production is scheduled. Leather shoe upper parts are generally cut with dyes by machines. This is far from an automatic process for a number of reasons. Even the finest piece of leather may be marked with a scar or other blemish marks on the hide, and the person doing the cutting needs to closely inspect the hide to ensure that they have chosen the best part to make the pattern cut. To ensure that the right and left shoe in each pair will match in color, texture, and thickness of leathers, the parts are marked, then sorted into pairs and stamped with identifying numbers. They are then ready for fitting. Important for comfort as well as for appearance, skiving is among the more highly skilled fitting operations. Its purpose is to reduce the thickness of the edges of the leather upper parts, which are to be folded or are which to be lapped over, otherwise joined to another part. The skiving machine cuts a bevel on the flush side at the edge of the leather as the operator guides the upper part past the rapidly rotating razor sharp knife. Each shoe manufacturer has a unique way to label their shoes. Here at Thoroughgood, our labeling consists of the following information. Material content, stock number, size, width, case number, date of manufacture, as well as our union logo. The binding process is done to provide a neat, finished top line or other edge. It also helps to ensure comfort and add strength to the overall shoe. Here the operator begins the process of stitching the many cut parts of the shoe pattern together. This operation is critical to the overall fit of the boot and requires a steady pair of skilled hands, as you can see. The number of different steps included in this group may range from more than 60 to as few as 15. In addition to the progressively assembly of the various upper parts by stitching, these fitting room operations require a keen eye for the details involved. Lasting is a series of forming operations in which the shoe upper and the lining are drawn down tightly to the last over which the shoe is made and then fastened to the insole of the shoe. The shoe upper end lining must be properly conformed to the last in order that the tension or stress on the upper will be evenly distributed and the upper end the lining will be smooth and free from wrinkles when the last is removed. After the surplus upper, box toe, and lining materials are trimmed off as one final operation in the lasting sequence, the Goodyear welt shoe is now ready for welting. The welt strip of leather or other material is sewn to the insole rib with a strong, flexible chain stitch seam called the inseam, which passes through and firmly fastens the welt and upper and the lining to the insole rib. A strong tempered steel or fiberglass shank is attached to the insole with a quick setting cement. With the shank in position, the area between the trimmed insole ribs is filled with a ground cork and cement compound to level the shoe bottom. This filler also cushions and helps insulate the foot. The outsole, which was cemented during the stock fitting sequence, is positioned on the shoe bottom and laid on and then under hydraulic mechanical pressure it is bonded to the midsole. The assembled welt and outsole are now trimmed and rounded close to the outline desired in the finished shoe and the shoe is ready for the next operation.
While the upper finishing methods vary somewhat, both cement and Goodyear welt shoes are cleaned, finished, polished, and sprayed in preparation for final inspection and packing. As you have seen, this high quality footwear is efficiently produced by Weinbrenner Shoe Company and is not made by just pushing a button. These shoes are handcrafted by a long series of skilled craftsmen and women.